Hey everyone, uh, my name is Dan and welcome to No Cones Garage. For years I've documented my builds on various internet forums uh, and I've found that to be limiting in, in how much you can communicate about the why of decisions you're making um, and just the general build process. So I thought I'd give a try to doing a video log with the new project I'm working on. Uh, the new build I'm calling the LMP360. Uh, the idea is if Subaru in the 60s were to go to Le Mans, um, but not really with a 60s theme, um, more with modern uh, LMP1 type car looks, really low, really wide, big big fenders pushed out away from the car, um, just the car tub uh, would be the middle, look, look a lot like a modern LMP car, but have a 60s Subaru look to it. It's being built as a Grassroots Motorsports $2,000 challenge car. If you're not familiar with uh, Grassroots Motorsports, you build a car for $2,000. It's actually the year, so it'll be $2,021. Um, I bought the shell for a dollar, and then I, uh, I'll, I'll go through later the budget on what I've spent. Um, the car's gonna be built to NASA and SCCA and NHRA uh, specs, uh, because one aspect of it is an NHRA drag race. Um, the other event is a concourse and then an autocross event. Every good build starts with a good foundation. For builds like this, it can be as simple as building the chassis on the floor of your garage, or as complicated as purchasing an industrial fixturing table. For my build, I'm going to be building an elevated platform out of 3 quarter inch MDF, 2x6s, and 2x4s. Some key features of this table is the fact that the four wheels will be supported on removable platforms at right height relative to the chassis. This will enable me to fixture every component, including the wheel hubs, so the suspension can be designed in place. The structure on the bottom is going to be to have 2x6s that run the length of the frame, with 2x4s running across, and just 4x4 posts. At the bottom, we'll have plates with adjustable nuts to allow for the entire assembly to be leveled once it is put in place. So come along with me as I build this build table, and then in future episodes as I start to build the vehicle.
So those are the leg assemblies complete. Uh, moving on to frame assembly. I don't have a lot of video of that uh, due to issue with SD cards. Uh, I do have two pictures that I'm showing you. Um, it's just all screwed together with pre-drilled holes. So frame complete, uh, moving on to top installation. Hey, right, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a slot down the middle and down each uh, axle center line. I'm gonna make that slot the width of a blade and then I'll have to put a little spacer behind one tape measure and I'll pick just a tape measure that I'll mark somehow. Um, I might just bend the tip but make it to where from either side that line will be dead center on the board and so when I hook in and measure out from either side it'll be exactly right as long as I go from the back of this. The push direction won't work because uh, the spacers would have to be too wide um, but I'll calibrate it and make sure it's right based on the other edge of the table. The build table complete. I uh, went ahead and put four tires on, brought my seats down, and that's going to be it for this one. Uh, next time we'll get the body down from the ceiling, uh, show you around that a little bit, and then get it started cutting down and go ahead and put the engine up on the build table. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Bye.